I was just making this video um, to respond to something um, that was said. I'm sorry, I'm not showing my face. I don't. I'm a little bit tired. I'm. I don't feel like doing all that. But I wanted to respond to what someone was saying on on, on Facebook as far as going to the whole thing that Black Americans don't travel and a lot. And it. I mean, it's true to a certain extent, but it's not true of all of us. First of all, I'm from. Uh, Baltimore. A lot of us don't get exposure to different cultures. And a lot of times what we learn about different cultures is on TV. So people can't help to think or to be led to think about certain things if that's all we see in the media. You know what I'm saying? First of all, a lot of us as African Americans don't have any real connections with people of different countries. Fortunately for me, I do have friends that are from Jamaica. I do have some relatives that are from the Caribbean. I do have friends that are from Ethiopia and various countries. So I, through my friendships with them and, and interactions with them, I feel comfortable with going to these places. But a lot of African Americans are cut off, first of all, from, from blacks from other places. You know, there's already this condescending type of uh, mentality that when other blacks come from other countries that we're not worth anything. So we don't have an opportunity to get together as people of color and learn about one each, one another and motivate. When I started studying the Bible with uh, Jehovah's Witnesses, one of the first things, because I always been into reggae, one of the first things my Bible said was from Kingston, Jamaica. And he said, you get your passport. I'm going to send you over there with my cousins. So, you know what I'm saying? So so that's why a lot of us African-Americans don't feel like, why would I go somewhere and see people that I don't know? Because we don't have relationships like this with people of other countries. Then, first of all, a lot of people are not aware that it's not really that expensive to go to other places. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? For the money that we pay for Jordans, you know, four pairs of Jordans, that's a round trip ticket to, you know, to Africa and back. I went to South Africa and it was $823. A lot of us don't know that. And then even with my coworkers, when I take vacations, I go overseas, whether it's the Caribbean. Like if, if I have enough money, I'll go to another continent. If I don't, I go within the confines of the Caribbean or other places in the United States. A lot of black people are working class black people. And a lot of them have families. They can't really afford to just get up and take trips. And if they have to take trips, they have to consider their children. So my thing is, before you criticize you know, you have to understand the way that we think and how the media has contributed to how we view the world and per people, personal circumstances. You know what I'm saying? Yes. You know, some of us can't afford, but instead of criticizing, educate, you know what I'm saying? Because society in the media doesn't make traveling abroad appealing to people. So people are comfortable here. And like I tell people when I convince them that they should travel, I tell them. I probably get shot going to Baltimore to visit my mother quicker than I would get hurt in another country. 